got something which I think is a real hot topic at the moment and is of course an electric motor. This is a 7.5. We've got Ben here who's going to tell us all about it. You see it, Ben? Hi, how you doing? I'm all right, yeah. So, yeah, as you said, this is the uh, new version of uh, electric engines for Mercury. Uh, the Avatar, um, as you say, going green and renewable engines is a hot topic. I uh, think it really topic. is. And you're one of the first sort of mainstream yeah, manufacturers, manufacturers to actually jump onto the electric thing. And I think that's pretty cool. You've got a whole heap of them. Yep. This one really interests me. Yeah. So this is perfect really for tenders. Uh, it's really, although it's concealed in one unit, uh, Mercury have been really uh, concentrated making it user friendly. So there's an Ooh. internal battery that sits in here. That's a can massive be battery housing. Um, so that can be removed. So when you're lifting the boat, uh, lifting the engine on and off the side of the boat onto a tender, you can remove a fair bit of the weight. The other advantage is you can have two batteries and charge that up. Um, so this really is the first uh, electric for Mercury. Um, they're now wanting very much see themselves as a propulsion uh, provider. So typically Mercury has been known for uh, combustion engines and now moving quite quickly into the electric uh, market. Cool, so what have we got going on here? Is it a twist throttle? Wow. It's a twist throttle. So exactly the same as a, a typical outboard engine. Yeah. Uh, we've got a display here with uh, battery uh, usage. It looks a bit swish, doesn't it? It does. It's very, they've done a great job. You can see it in the um, bright sunlight, just really bright screen. Nice. Um, and they've put a really good indicator because range anxiety is this new big thing that's coming out. Yeah, well, range is a real issue because obviously battery curves and the likes are quite hard to predict. Yeah. And, and they are still, and there still will be some range anxiety, but what yeah. we want to do is make sure the user has got as much information as he can to make those decisions. Okay. Um, so something like this on a three meter uh, inflatable tender, mm -hmm. flat out, probably an hour's worth of, um, an hour's worth of uh, usage. Yeah, yeah. Normal um, usage, sort of two or three mile an hour. Uh, you could be anywhere up to five hours. But okay. Again, changes on weight, boat type. Yeah, yeah. Um, all the rest of it. So you've got some other ones in the range as well, but they're not integral battery. Which Correct. ones are in? So we've got a 20 and we've got a 30. So 30 is equivalent to about a 9.9. Yep. Um, so that is uh, the auxiliary battery packs. Obviously, the more the bigger the motor, the more batteries. But again, they're all removable, very quick to change uh, battery packs. And what's the weight of this unit just while we're on on the 7.5? So uh, altogether, this is 26 kilos. That's with the battery in. With the battery in yeah. uh, and also the bracket. Uh, if you take the battery out and the bracket off, you're down to about 16 kilograms. Oh, that's manageable. So it's like an old 3.3 kind of weight. Exactly. Something like that, yeah. And regarding props, are they interchangeable or is it just one fixed prop? That's how it props is. Props are interchangeable. There's three, uh, oh, right, cool. three sizes. So depending on the boat uh, and the weight, you can change that prop. Um, but these engines are much more about torque and getting the boat going. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they've done a really good job. Good stuff. Well, Ben, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so thank if you. you want to see more about this, go check out the Mercury website. All the specs are obviously on there, and we'll drop that link in the description below. Cheers, mate. Great, thank you.